Chelsea, huh? Uh, I've had a few of them in my cab. Chopper Harris, Di Matteo, Yossi Benayoun, SAE. Oh, the Chelsea Flower Show. Ah, uh, Billy Agnes, mm. Joyce Yetinata. I'm, I'm from Africa and there, there's quite a bees, well, quite a lot of bees in my garden still, but I've heard that they are on decline. So. Yeah. You'd have to put that down in climate, you'd have to put that in changing conditions is what I would have to say. But... Yes, they've got some horrible virus, haven't they? Yes, yeah, I can't remember the name of it, but um, yeah. No, I'm afraid uh, but botany isn't my strong point. I used to be an undertaker. Oh, but I've actually heard a theory about that. Oh, that was in a movie. No, that doesn't count. <laughs> Insecticides, pesticides and spray. Well, I suppose I could help when the bees passed away. I could get little bee stretchers and we could be take bee taking them to the uh, little bee mortuary. Global warming. Is it too hot for them? <laughs> <laughs> It was the sound of bees, I yes. think, that one came across. In, uh, in those days, in an open field with no background noises at all, no aircraft flying over like we have here, uh, there was nothing like that. And it was uh, the sound of bees working busily in a field of wildflowers. When I was a kid in London, um, an East Ender by Zachary, I could pick a bunch of flowers for my mum on her birthday, walking, hanging, thing. I can't do that most memorable being in a park, children's play park, and uh, playing on a swing and this huge swarm of bees just coming overhead and everybody running scared. <laughs> I was about four years old and I was running around on the lawn at my grandmother's house and I stepped on a bee and that was when I discovered I was very allergic and I had an ankle that must have been about four times its normal size for about a week and it was summer and it throbbed and all they could put on it was, I think it must have been witch hazel, great big pads of witch hazel and ice. <laughs> Bees very generally will sting you while flying, I found, so there's no need to panic. It's a defensive mechanism when they sting, so as long as you don't bother them, they won't bother you. <laughs> My most memorable experience with bees was a bumblebee. Um, you know, the big black bees, that's what we have in, in Barbados. They make the loud, louder noises than the smaller yellow and black bees. And um, yeah, so I tried catching one of them only to be stung by one. This thing really, really hurts. So, you know, your parents always tell you, you know, be careful of the, uh, the bumblebees. <laughs> 
I was like six years old, I was in my garden and I remember my older brother he was playing outside all I, heard, all I heard was him screaming and he must have been stung by a bee and it was still around so I was screaming mama and, and my mum wasn't responding so I thought the only thing I could do is just pour something on him and all of a sudden all I saw was like a cup of tea and I just poured it on him <laughs> and obviously he was screaming so. I think this was a bee this was a, or a very overweight wasp would let himself go because I was sat on a tennis umpire's, you know, that huge chair they, they sit on to make themselves feel important. And I, it was in Torquay, and I got stung on my toe, as I recall. So that would be my first introduction, not a very nice introduction. Seeing a, a, a bee, you know, land in a, in a very small sort of paddling pool and thinking, oh, I'll save it, and putting my hand in like that, and of course lifting it out, being stung and sort of thinking, you know, why would I try to rescue something? Would it, would it sting me? I now know that they do a very good job, you know, and they get a very, very bad press. Actually, yesterday I found an absolutely enormous one, almost as big as you, um, on my parents' dining room carpet. So very, very carefully, you know, got a cup over it and took it out and put it back into a, a lavender bush in the garden. Thank you. <laughs> Use so many um, chemicals and things, and we put all the tarmac down, all the wrong rotten things, but it's not rocket science to put them back. If you get the right flowers, and um, they, are, they, they come back pretty quick, so they may have to be in hiding. I have to say, every time I see them now, I try and get them going towards my hosta flowers. Because surprisingly enough, most people don't realise that all hostas flower. Bees love eucalyptus because they're early flowering plants, and it's lovely for the bees to have something early to get their little kind of nectary bits into. Well, as you see, hostas flower all the year round, and I have to say that hostas are loved by bees as well. I mean, what, what a marriage. You could just spend all his day hopping between the hookahers and the hostas. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>